I have made 11 episodes thus far in the most popular series, and this episode has to be the most diverse yet when it comes to which weapons the community have been using the most. If you're new here, every season with the help of Destiny Tracker, I take a look at which weapons have the highest usage rates across the entire community for PvE. We discuss why each weapon places where it does, and even go over what their best perk rolls are if they're legendary. In today's video though, we're not seeing any of the usual suspects. There is no Galahorn, there's no Forbearance, no Other Half, and even no Wither Horde. So what exactly is there? Well, that's what we're going to find out in today's video. Of course, as usual, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more content from me, and a massive thank you to the patrons and tier 2 YouTube members for their support. Without further ado, let's jump into it. Now, before we discuss the most popular weapons for Season of the Wish, we first need to talk about a company that is quickly becoming popular with helping you hit your New Year's goals. Today's sponsor, Control. All right, fellas, it's 2024, and I'm sure that many of you guys watching today's video probably have a New Year's resolution, and I'm willing to bet that around 90% of them have to do with losing weight or getting in shape, and that is what today's sponsor is all about. This brand actually came from the gaming space and is run by people that are just like you and me, where their main goal is to really get some meal replacements out there for a more healthier option, something that's gonna make you feel fuller for longer, and honestly, just not have you feeling like shit all the time. Now, they do this in a few different ways, one of the main ways, of course, being through their shakes. Now, I know that this looks like a protein powder and it does have quite a bit of protein in it, but the main reason behind this is to make you feel fuller for longer, while also giving you stuff like protein so that you're not just drinking empty calories. Another avenue of meal replacement that they take is through their snacks. Now, I am a very big cookie person. This is their protein cookie for peanut butter, and I'm going to tell you, it's 15 grams of protein, 250 calories, and this is not your traditional protein snack. It's not dry. It doesn't crumble apart. It doesn't taste nasty. They make sure that they don't take out all of the good tasting ingredients for the sake of having something that's really protein packed, but tastes terrible. And by the way, that's not the only thing they sent me they sent me all sorts of other snacks as well and they're absolute bangers so trust me if you're not into peanut butter cookies these are also really good and you know i've never gotten to eat a cookie for an ad read here on youtube but i am going to take the opportunity here today this is part of the peanut butter cookie and i'm going to keep it real with you this thing is absolutely banging this is one of my favorite protein snacks that i've ever had in my entire life thankfully they did sponsor today's video and you guys can go to drinkcontrol.com or drinkctrl.com and use code DemonJo for 10% off your order. And if you don't want to have to deal with shipping or anything like that, you can actually pick this stuff up at your local GNC. And I'm going to tell you from my heart, I highly, highly recommend this brand. This is not in the script. This is me 100% talking. Please give it a try if you can, especially if you're going for a New Year's resolution. Anyways, thank you so much to Control for sponsoring today's video and enjoy the rest of the content. Now let's jump into the list. Number 15, Callus Mini Tool. Do you like solar weapons? Because you'll be seeing quite a few in today's video, thanks to the Season of the Wish artifact perk, so Callus Mini Tool should be of no surprise. This weapon is farmable in Presage via the Exotic Mission Rotator, and has been a mainstay SMG in PvE since it released in Season of the Haunted. Callus Mini Tool gets a perk roll of Unrelenting or Threat Detector in the first column, with Incandescent in the second. Or, I guess you could go with Surrounded if that's your thing. As a 900 RPM SMG with good perks and good stats, there really isn't much else you could want in a Solar SMG, so it definitely deserves that top 15 spot. Number 14, Wish Ender. Last season's ranking, number 1. Yeah, it definitely seems like many players have probably had their fill of Wish Ender by now, considering it went from last season's most popular to now barely making the list, but I'm sure this doesn't have much to do with the weapon's efficiency itself. You see, here in Season of the Wish, Bungie gave us an artifact perk called Flint Striker. This perk states that Rapid Solar Weapon Precision Hits and Rapid Solar Weapon Final Blows will grant Radiant. Since one of the main appeals to Wish Ender is the fact that it has anti-barrier capabilities, it's no surprise that when Bungie allows players to have anti-barrier on any weapon they want so long as they use a solar one first to proc it, that Wish Ender would fall down quite a steep hill. Don't let this confuse you though, Wish Ender is still easily one of the best weapons in the game, but its demand just quite isn't as high this time around in champion based content. Number 13, Amit AR2. Last season's ranking, number 13. 
You guys have no idea how happy it makes me to see that Amit is still in the top 15. Obviously, a lot of this has to do with all of the solar artifact perks we have, but it seems that people aren't letting the fact that Amit is a 450 RPM bother them all that much, and I think that's awesome. Personally, although I don't think Amit is a better weapon than the Callus Mini Tool, I do prefer using Amit because I get that super long range because of the auto frame alongside the ad clear due to incandescent. This weapon also gets Ambitious Assassin in the first column, which overflows the magazine to upwards of 90 rounds. So yeah, Amit is a beast. Number 12, Malfeasance. Shout out to all my hunter mains out there keeping Malfeasance above water, as I believe that this is probably the first time I've seen it in the top 15. If you didn't know, Lucky Pants builds for hunters have been quite popular, and Malfeasance is by far the best weapon to use with these builds due to the sheer amount of damage it can pump out. It has a 19 round mag, intrinsic unstop capabilities, and after stacking enough shots, even has tainted slugs that burrow into your enemies that do massive chunk damage. Honestly, what more could you possibly want? Number 11. Avalanche. Coming off of the dawning while in a season centered around solar artifact perks, this one is a no-brainer. Easily the best solar legendary machine gun in the game, Avalanche almost makes it into the top 10, not only because of its element and frame, but also because its perk tree is just fantastic. In the first column, you have auto-loading, subsistence, stats for all, and rewind rounds, with the second having adrenaline, incandescent, target lock, and one for all. Unfortunately, if you don't already have an avalanche, you'll have to wait until the next donning event, but for those that have a god roll of their choice, enjoy. Number 10, Crux Termination. I'm not gonna lie, I'm absolutely baffled that this weapon cracked the top 10. Not because it's a bad weapon, because believe me, this is one of the all-time greats when it comes to rockets, but because I can never get this weapon to drop for me. I've only gotten two all season, and they absolutely blow. World loot weapons can be brutal sometimes, but if you're looking for one of these bad boys or want to know if you have a good perk roll in the vault, the first column has Clown Cartridge, Slide Shot, Envious Assassin, and Reconstruction, with the second column featuring Bipod and Explosive Light. This weapon is an absolute machine, honestly the rocket to rule all rockets, and I'm incredibly jealous that there are some people out there that are lucky enough to come away with a god roll on this thing, while I can barely even find one. Number 9, Epical Integration. Mom, can we have Zally's Bane? No dear, we have Zally's Bane at home. Zally's Bane at home. To be fair to this weapon though, it's a phenomenal hand cannon that looks sexy as hell, it just doesn't quite hit the mark in the perk department, and isn't craftable. With all that out of the way though, this hand cannon still remains a top tier option for those that own Lightfall. It's super easy to get as I believe Nimbus just hands you a quest for it at some point, and it comes with Stats for All and Incandescent, which Stats for All can proc off of Incandescent, making it a pretty nice synergy. I really love this hand cannon, and you can definitely tell that the non-raiding community is keeping its numbers up. But not up enough, as here we have number 8, Zally's Bane. Ah yes, the big brother standing right next to its sibling. Zally's Bane is the craftable Solar 140 hand cannon from King's Fall, and it just barely inches out integration. This season, Zally's Bane also got a very huge bug fix to its reload animation, which makes the weapon much snappier than before, and it doesn't feel nearly as clunky. Anyways, the main reason that Zally's Bane is simply better than its predecessor is because in the first column, it can roll with Explosive Payload, which it can then pair with Incandescent. This is a big deal because unless you're getting a kill, Incandescent is not helping you, whereas Explosive Payload is going to give you a flat damage increase of around 15%, so no matter what you're doing, you're always dealing more damage than Integration. Of course, there are many other perk options that you can go for with Zally's, but Explosive and Incandescent is just too good for me not to recommend. Number 7. Quicksilver Storm. Last season's ranking number 2. We don't have much in the way of strand artifact perks this season, so the drop off is to be expected, but don't let that stop me from reminding you that Quicksilver remains the best primary weapon in the game. This thing has always been by far my favorite exotic primary, simply due to the fact that it's barely a primary, as it can generate unlimited grenade launcher ammo alongside synergizing with my strand builds due to tangle generation. It's just a nutty weapon, it always has been, and I hope it remains in the top 15 for many more seasons to come, as it absolutely deserves it, strand artifact perks or not. Number 6, Riptide. Last season's ranking, number 7. Riptide has been one of those fusion rifles that has easily stood the test of the power creep timeline and remained a top option in PvE. The bad news, you get it from PvP, and the perk pool is absolutely massive. 
but the weapon has been around long enough that plenty of people have already gotten the roles that they want. With perks like auto loading and lead from gold in the first column and chill clip frenzy and vorpal in the second, this rapid fire stasis fusion continues to dominate the PvE meta, but it's not quite as popular as our newest kinetic slot fusion, number 5, Scatter Signal. Yes indeed, the new rapid fire fusion from Season of the Wish is already hitting it off with players and for good reason. For one, the archetype is amazing, for two, it's strand element, and for three, it has a fantastic perk pool allowing you to easily craft your masterpiece. Me personally, I went with Overflow and Controlled Burst, and this thing is just an absolute menace to society. I like it more than Riptide for just general use, but Riptide obviously still has its place in areas where you're fighting overloads, thanks to Chill Clip. All in all though, this is now my go-to kinetic slot fusion, and I'm so happy that Bungie added it as a seasonal drop, as those have been feeling lacking as of recent. Number 4, Apex Predator. Oh, I'm sorry, did someone say the easiest raid weapon to farm? Did someone say meta-defining perks? Did someone also say amazing rocket artifact mods this season? Well, nobody said that shit but me, but all of it is true. Apex Predator remains one of the best rockets in the game that even your grandma could farm, because farming Cali with randoms is probably the easiest raid activity you could do. Once you get all your red borders, you can make a decision. Do you want to craft one of these, or do you want to craft two? Because I personally went with crafting two of these, because that's just how dynamic this rocket is. One I crafted with Reconstruction and Bait and Switch for Raid and Dungeon DPS, and the other I crafted with Reconstruction and Explosive Light for things like GMs and general use. This rocket is amazing, and everyone should have one by now. Number 3, Polaris Lance. Never in a million years did I ever expect the Warmind Expansion Scout Rifle, known as Polaris Lance, to break in the top 3 as a most popular weapon, but here we are. This thing is just absolutely disgusting with the synergy that it has with the artifact perks this season, allowing it to have anti-barrier with consistent headshotting, which you're going to be doing a lot of anyways, and I believe that the charge shot that Polaris Lance has even functions as an ignition, which should counter unstops, which is also pretty nice. I personally don't enjoy the playstyle that Polaris Lance brings, even in GMs. I'm usually up close and personal with enemies the entire time, but I can definitely see the appeal, and it rightfully lands itself on the list for this season. Number 2, Sunshot. Last season's ranking, number 8. Yeah, Sunshot continues its historic rise back to fame as it comes off of a huge hand cannon buff not that long ago and is now paired perfectly with a lot of different artifact perks this season. You don't really need me to explain why Sunshot is as good as it is since it's kind of been around since Destiny's beta I believe so I'll just leave it at this. Gun does good damage, causes big boom booms, those boom booms chain into more boom booms, profit. Number 1, Dragon's Breath. Nothing makes me happier than finally seeing another Season Pass exotic make absolute huge waves in the community quite like this. Dragon's Breath has made its way into the scene as the new heavy slot Wither Horde, and I absolutely adore it. Although super quick DPS isn't its strong suit, it's the massive and consistent damage over time that makes it so popular, and it's been a blast to use this season. Not only that, but Bungie also gave us a really good looking ornament that goes with it as a season pass reward, so you'll be exploding enemies in infinite hellfire like it's nothing, and you'll be doing it in style too. And with that said, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for the video today. Thank you for watching the 12th episode of the most popular series, and thank you again to Control for sponsoring today's video. Much love everyone, and I'll see you guys next time.